name's Henry Watford and I'm a professor at Oxford University. We're here in the southwest of Norway to find and look at the very rare and beautiful Kentama bear and its young. Follow me. Oh, now, I don't believe this, but we see traces of the no, no. Oh. we see traces of the Kentaro bear's whereabouts. It is a very horny animal. It feels it has to masturbate at least seven times a day. Now, in the native parts of Norway, they believe that the Kentaro bear's sperm is both an aphrodisiac and heals very severe wounds. That is why it is actually a tradition here that the women of the families walk around and collect this stuff. Now I've been tracking for several days and I've yet to see a Kentama bear. I'm sure they're in the nearabouts because I can see, still see the sperm and the stones. I've heard from the native women in the area that the Kentama bear is in a very severe mating period at the moment. They've known it to mate up to eight times a day. This is extraordinary for a man, for a bear of that size. Now I'm going to continue looking until I see one, over and out. Survey the Kentama bear in its natural habitat. Just got to get out of its way. It's not known to react that well to humans. This is a rare sight. Oh, look! It's young. I have never in my wildest dreams thought I'd experience this. Let's see if we can get a little closer. I think we've just observed a father and it's young. Notice that the hair grows and they tend not to cut it at all. In fact, they are quite intelligent beings. The leader of the pack usually has his hair in a knot at the back. As you can see, this, this one's slightly less intelligent. And they actually do do it after brains instead of brawn. They, uh, they don't fight, really, unless it's for food or a good... Um, um, I'm not sure what the term is. Um, wanking spot. Uh, so, uh, here. Actually, these seem to be quite tame. They must be very used to the locals walking around and, uh, as I said before, collecting their sperm. It's actually debated uh, whether they actually can speak. Because, uh, as you can hear, they've got a... We've got rather a sophisticated vocabulary. <laughs> Sorry that I'm laughing, but this this uh, young boy seems to be trying to impress his father. He's uh, he's uh, this is the actual tradition. He he, he, he finds a branch and, and tries to either swing from it or break it down. But uh, they seem to have spotted us. Ah. Oh, uh, what what is? Um, I'm, I'm actually not familiar with this. 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 Uh, oh my God! Jesus Christ! As I said, these are not known to be a very dangerous animal. No! 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 Get away! Get away! You shit! Get away! Jesus! Jesus! Oh my god! Oh Jesus! Run! You run! 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 Shit! Shit! Oh, okay. Oh hey. Oh my god! It's vicious! I've never seen anything like this! Oh, oh my 
God. I can't imagine the things. Dude! Oh my! Run, you fag! <laughs> Run! I am momentarily unscathed, but I think we should leave this herd and come back to it tomorrow. I've been here now for two months. My good friend, Walter, was lost to the Kentama there. I don't believe this. I think we're actually going to see a mating oh. before we leave. Oh Come here. This is amazing. Oh my god. I don't believe it. It's. I th this is this is beyond my wildest dream. Found itself a mate. Oh no. It's on its own. <laughs> they have said that the mating of the Kintama bear is a very rare and beautiful thing, but I beg to differ, this must be the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> well, it seems to be done. Done for today. I've survived for two months in this barren wasteland. I've seen things no man should see. And now, it is time to go home. To my wife, to my kids. And I can safely say that I shall never, ever have sex again. I've seen things that make you throw up twice, and then eat it, and then throw up again. Sorry. I can't say anymore. Sorry.